I'm going to talk about my two scrolls um, titled Sitcom on the top and Interference. I've been culling images um, from Faber for the past year since my honors project at Smith College and I've grown particularly interested in twalls and the image space and the physical fabric space that they contain. Toile is a printed fabric um, with detailed figural or scenic designs. Generally, they are monochrome in color, but more modern toiles incorporate color palettes. There are endless subjects for toiles, but I'll click through some of the most common motifs um, as I describe the history briefly. The word is short for toile de jouy, um, toile meaning cloth, and jouy meaning um, or referring to jouy en josé, the village near Versailles, where the most famous French toiles were produced. The earliest toiles were produced in 1752 in Dublin by the Irish printer named Francis uh, Nixon using copper engraved plates where he invented a machine process which allowed for more delicate lines and larger repeats compared to the preceding wood blocks. Uh, this process traveled to England and toiles became an instant status symbol among the merchants and upper classes. Benjamin Franklin popularized toile in North America and purchased over 60 yards for his wife. He was interested more in the process, being a printmaker himself, than the fashion, but quickly established toile manufacturing and it began to filter down to the middle classes. As England produced toiles for itself and its colonies, France was quickly trying to catch up due to a 75-year ban on imported uh, and domestic cotton fabrics which were competing with the wool and silk manufacturers. And once the ban was lifted in 1759, uh, Christophe Philippe Oberkamp opened a textile factory in Jouy en José, France, um, near, near all the local trendsetters held court in Versailles. And combined with Oberkamp's high standard of engraving and printing and his designer's French artistry, the factory gained much fame and earned Oberkamp a legion of honor. And Toile became so synonymous with Jouy that even today, toile pattern, no matter its origin or place of manufacture, is often referred to as toile de jus. And so over time, toile has fallen in and out of fashion, but whether it's the 18th century original, a high-end reproduction, a brand new creation, or even an inexpensive copy, there's something endearing about toile fabrics. Perhaps the stories they tell, or the detailed charming designs, or just the nostalgia for a simpler past. Whatever the reason, it's a cultural icon that tells us where we came from or where we want to go. Working with toiles in the scroll configuration has allowed me to closely examine the repeating vignettes of romantic escapades complete with swinging parties. Through my honors project and over the past year, I've developed a multi-stage process to produce work. So I gather fabric, then photograph and crop it, and then project the image before I begin painting. The process is quite structured and grounded and therefore appropriately placed in the middle realm of earthly uh, <laughs> tasks. As I worked and continued to re repaint um, the scenes, they began to deteriorate. Just as the, the charm of the sitcom, its title starts to wear away as the characters age and the plot trudges on. So for wealthy city dwellers and other upper class types who could afford to buy toile, having draperies or slip covers, the, the scenes was almost as good as being there. Better, actually, because the reality of life in the country wasn't nearly as pleasant as the idealized dream. So I drew parallels between Twal and television and the modern form of visual storytelling the sitcom. It is an idealized life, and it's easier to step into the story than to deal with the realities of our own. So in the context of realms, um, the cultural and social status of Twals connects with the trivial concerns of the earthly realm. Whereas my second scroll, Interference, addresses the experience of making contact, of getting disturbed when we tap into another realm, or when we pick up a new radio signal and the sound waves develop a frequency. So this is based on a previous work that I made by hand. Um, then the process of painting became a meditation. It was very closely focused that the image started to transcend the fabric. And this compiled photograph um, that I have on display in realms this disruption and distrust in perception is what draws me to fabrics. So I've included some other works that show the distortion of space. As you can see, the cowboys descending down as the horizons repeat and repeat beneath them. As another uh, natural toile, the folds start to deteriorate the space that's created. As the more geometric 
um, patterns follow the contours of the fabric. I grew interested in the repeating vignettes and modulations of the patterns. And I enjoyed the distortion, particularly in the fabrics that were had the twalls and the figural elements. And these distortions are metaphors for the disruptions in our lives, the moments that cause us to look outside of ourselves and look for a little bit more meaning. 